name is Teresa Rich and on these set of videos I hope you find them really useful for some self-care that you are about to embark on. But if you are unsure and you are suffering with any type of medical conditions under the influence of a medical practitioner or a GP, it's best to check out with them before you practice any of these moves. Hope you enjoy them. You know where I am if you need to contact me further. For today's facial reflexology, we're gonna focus on anxiety and relaxing our client. So before that, we're gonna go through the basic facial massage routine. Um, generally, you would be doing 15 of these. Um, moves but for today I'm going to show you one each to keep the time of the video down and also to stop you getting bored. So take the fingers like we did in the first video, move up and lightly down. Okay so I'm just going to do two just to show you firm up and lightly down. Then what you can do is to just awaken your face you can do to potment Okay, nothing to say you can't do that. All right, and you can still do some tapping just to wake yourself up first thing in the morning. It's nice and invigorating. Now we're gonna do focusing more so on calming techniques. So we get the tips of the fingers and we're gonna go underneath the hair and we're going to rotate nice and easily as we go round, okay? So all we're doing is we're just massaging the head underneath the scalp, also underneath here as well. You can also stroke your hair like this. It's all nice and relaxing. Gets the nerves relaxed as well. Okay, so really work into your hair as you give yourself some facial reflexology. You can even, if you wish, massage the ears nice and lightly, but generally they're gentle strokes before we go into the reflexology routine. So you can either do these moves together or you can do them individually. So we're gonna look at um, here, it's, where the brain area is. So we're gonna be focusing on those areas very gently. So take half of this area really and look at doing the um, three quarters upwards. So you're gonna work diagonally from side to side. You're gonna do that 15 times, about the size of a centimeter. Then we're gonna take it to the other side and you're gonna go diagonally again. 15 of these. You may feel a difference from one side to the other, but don't worry about that. The idea is just to calm, calming the head. It's all about calmness for anxiety. Relaxing the head area as we do this. Once we've done this, we're trying to work down as we go through. We're also going to look at doing this central, central area here, okay, which is the solar plexus. This is one of the pictures that show the solar plexus. And all we're doing is we're just going up and down. Okay, so you would do 15 of those, just going up and down. If you decided to go horizontal, doesn't matter. Whatever axis you're movements take as you go along. Then we're going to, we've just done this point here, we're gonna do another point that's a bit closer down and we're gonna go up and down again, 15 times as we do this. Yeah, good, so we're not making any redness on the skin, we're just moving the skin, the areas or the organs beneath the skin. Once you've done that 15 times, we're then gonna focus on working underneath the eye sockets in the direction of the hair. Okay, this is really good for the shoulders 
and the arms. Again, we're looking at doing this 15 times. So I tend to use my middle finger, but you can use any finger you wish to. But the main thing is to follow the directions of the eyebrows. So you're really looking at going halfway along the eyebrows. So we also do this on the other side as well. I tend to use my thumb to place the thumb on the base that gives some leverage and then use my middle finger as I do exactly the same thing when working along the eyebrow which is also known as the muscle orbicularis oculi. So it's really good for working that area as well. And then finally, what we're going to look at is the centre, the centre of the eyebrow, which is known as the third eye. And all we're going to do is rotate in a circular motion. Again, 15 times. Now, every time you release your finger from these areas, you want to do it so you can't feel the separation of your finger from the face. This is known as Ajna in the chakras, being the third eye, high, highest form of intuition and trusting of the self. So when you've done 15, release your finger. Then we also want to, just in case we've put someone out of balance, we also want to feel along the the straightness of the ear here and we use our middle finger and then when it gets into the tragus and where it dips in we just place our finger here and we rotate. This is really done to balance any mistakes or anything that could have um, altered our homeostasis. We would do this 15 times as well. When you've done that you're going to do the same thing on the other ear. So if I just show you, we come up and along, okay, and then we're going to rotate, doesn't matter which way, whatever feels natural, is where it dips again. And if, if you've got a problem finding this zero, then just open your mouth and you'll feel it. Okay, so we're doing 15 circular motions just to balance out everything that we've actually done. Then when we've done that we're going to do a very very gentle relaxation technique on our face just to calm the parasympathetic nervous system down. So we're going to take both hands again and we're going to go up and through the face 15 times. Great if you can close your eyes as you do this, but for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to do it a couple of times. Once we've done that, we then get into massaging the scalp. So it's a bit like all we're doing is moving the skin. We're not over the skin making it red. So we're going to massage the scalp as best as we can in all areas, okay, even on the top, try and get into the areas that you would not normally, especially underneath, and use your thumbs as well to massage underneath the scalp. Okay, when you've done that for a period of time, then we're gonna look at stroking. You can stroke from underneath, it's all lovely, you can stroke from the top, but the idea is you just relax your head and you might actually find you really like it. I'm liking it so much, I'm wanting to carry on. It's actually really good for feeding the nutrients of your hair as well. So you can do this anytime, absolutely, any, any time. And there you go. And we learned some also we learned some breathing techniques and this was taken from David Shepherd um, it's Hawaiian breathing techniques just to calm us down at the very end so all we do for this is we take a deep breath in 
and we breathe out through the throat. So, and the idea is the out breath should be longer than the in breath. So again, So you can hear the throat, the back of the throat. And again, this really, really helps the parasympathetic nervous system. So deep breathing in and again out. When you finish that 15 times, you can either massage your ears or place your hands on the tops of your eyes. So I'll just show you how we do that. We take both hands and then place the hands gently over the eyes. You can picture a colour if you so wish as you then gently open your eyes. I would suggest at the very end of this treatment that you go get yourself a glass of water, try and stay hydrated throughout the day and chill if you are able to. My name is Teresa Rich from Reflexology UK. Namaste.